Positivism in Education, Self Film, EDS 711. Our chosen paradigm is positivism. Positivism is concerned with experience and empirical knowledge, personal knowledge backed up by scientific verification, which is the objective. The positivism paradigm dates back to the Enlightenment period of the 17th and 18th century and was inspired by many philosophers. However, the first philosopher to advocate it in the natural sciences is the father of positivism, which was Augustine Comte. Positivism as a paradigm offers a teacher-based experience, which means that a teacher can be utilized to guide discussion and activity in a specific direction because they serve as a cultural broker, inheritors, critics, and interpreters of culture. Positivism emerged from the philosophy of empiricism, which holds that belief must be empirical, tested before being accepted as true. This paradigm suggests conduction of experiments and observation to test the validity of the results and that the reality is objective and universal. Positivist studies in curriculum development are usually technical in nature and concerned with being able to predict and control the environment. According to, positiv to positivism, knowledge is not true knowledge if it cannot be validated by sensory experience. It stresses that claims to knowledge that are not backed up by science are deceptive and worthless. Positivism in education suggests that learners be taught through experiment and observations rather than memorization or drill methods. It supports the idea by John Dewey, which states that children learn best by doing. Science, since a statement is deemed meaningful, only if it is proven scientifically, learners are given a measurable problem and they have to test its valid validity and reliability by following scientific laws, conducting experiments and observing trends. The focus of our lesson will be based on grade 5, the subject which is natural science and technology. Lesson topic, we are going to investigate ways to make old and dull objects shiny again. We will need apparatus such as the coin, marker, plastic container, white vinegar, salt, lemon juice and paper towel. The method that we are going to use, it goes as follows. We are going to mark the plastic container as A, pour 250 ml vinegar in that container, add the salt and stir well until all the salt has dissolved in the vinegar. We are also going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice and we are going to place the coin in the container and leave it in the mixture for about, 30, for about 10 minutes. After that, we are going to wipe the coin with the paper towel until it's shiny and we record the observations. Observation was as follows. The color, before, color of the object before cleaning, it was uh, dull and rusty, and color of the object after cleaning, it's shiny. Validation. Learners will be expected to answer the following questions. The first one, they will be expected to explain why some metals or coins become dull. Lemon juice and vinegar are both sour acids. What effects do our do sour substances have on dull metals and coins? At the beginning of the experiment or investigation, the coin was, and after the cleaning, after cleaning the after cleaning, the coin was as well. The benefits of positivism in education. In education, positivism leads to a teacher-centered approach to pedagogy. This means that knowledge is conferred from the teacher and is distributed to the students. The teacher prioritizes evidence-based knowledge, relies specifically on scientific evidence such as experiments and statistics.
Thank you very much.